You know, there's nothing that gives me more pleasure than to watch and see and listen to Lord Brunson become discombobulated. Hey, Mike, get your guns and be me in the back right now. Yeah. Everyone wants to be a cowboy. Grab your gun, boys. Ole. Hello and good morning to my fellow cowboy fans. This is Cowboy Legends for Life coming back at you again with another video with my host that you like the last one. You know, this season, this NFL postseason has shaped it to be one of the most fun, most pleasurable seasons yet I've had in a long time. Oh, not just because the Cowboys are 3-0 and about to become 4-0 because the Eagles fans and the Eagles fan base have become unraveled. And they cannot handle their situation right now. Most of them anyway. Okay, they can't. And so uh, I get a lot of pleasure and, 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 and uh, satisfaction in seeing people like Lord Brunson just lose his absolute fucking skull. All right. And believe me, at this point in time, when the Eagles become about to become one in three, and I believe they will become one in three. The mention of Dak Prescott's name sends that man into an absolute fucking frenzy. I mean, he was going through his last video. I was listening to it. I mean, watching it, and he was talking about the the the, the, um, the, the mistakes of the Eagles and what's need to be done and how they're going to win this game with the um, um, the, the Packers and all this shit and the, what to expect that they lose. And then someone must have got on his channel and have it live because I don't get on his channel live no more because when I say something, I just get blocked. Like all Cowboy fans on that channel, all we do is get blocked from him because he's that much of a bitch, okay? So, so, <laughs> so someone says something about, now we're thinking about Dak Prescott playing better than Carson Wentz. And he said, look, this channel is not about, no, this is about the Eagles, it ain't about Carson Wentz. I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. If he ain't thinking about Dak Prescott, it would be the first fucking time he wouldn't say anything. So I waited for a second. Next thing you know, he mentioned Dak's name. And he said something about that, and then he just went to a full-blown fucking tizzy, like a little check of child. And said he went to a full-blown fucking tizzy, went berserk, worse than I've ever seen him did, man. You know, and so he can't explain or try. He's trying to explain to his viewers that Carson Wentz is not it's not his fault. While I'm listening to Fed Q, I'm listening to Nitro Freak, I'm listening to Joey Shakes. You know, I'm listening to. Um, so, um, give me, give me, I'm sorry, uh, Darius and several others, right? That, yeah, it's it, Carson Wentz can't take all the blame, but Carson Wentz been playing like jack shit. The last game he played, he had a lot of fucking um, uh, uh, bad passes. He was throwing, he was throwing, he was dinking and dunking. He was dinking and dunking. He was throwing two yard pa passes that were being dropped. Okay, and he was he was bad passing too to the to the feet and all that shit. Okay, so though it's not all his fault that his players are dropping passes, you're looking at them dropping seven yards, um, I'm sorry, seven passes, and they're going downfield, dropping this pass or that pass. A lot of those passes have been defended very well. And they want to call it drop because they put their, 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 their receivers didn't catch it. But a lot of times, he just missed the throw. And they don't want to accept that, especially Lord Brunson. He keeps saying the Eagles... It's everybody's fault but, the, but the, their quarterback. The Eagles are messing up Carson Wentz's greatness. I want you to hear what I just said because here's what he said. Go to his channel and listen to him. The last two um, 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 videos he made. They're screwing up Carson Wentz's greatness. He's, he's, he's showing he's elite by losing. And it's just wonderful to watch. It's wonderful to listen to because all that fucking hype all that bullshit was for nothing. You understand? They may turn it around before the season ends or before they have the season, half of the season starts. They may start winning again. Who knows? Okay? But it doesn't, it doesn't entitle you to fucking lie. But here's the thing. Lord Brunson lies all the time. Do you ever see him give you any stats? Very, very rarely. Okay? It wasn't this the guy... He, he was screaming about his running game now, right? Wasn't this the guy who said that PFF and everybody else said that we had the best running tandem in football when it, before the season started? Didn't he not say that? 
let alone, let alone all the other things he was saying about how great the front line is, offensive and defensive. We got the best. Oh, Lord, my son, what you got is the oldest fucking team in the NFL, okay? And a lot of them have become injury prone. You know what I'm saying? And it became evident and clear that the, the, these three games for your, your team, okay? Now, even if Lord, even if, if, if um, Carson Wentz survived the entire season, which he has not yet so far in his career, okay? And, but if he does, I doubt if he becomes 9-7. and seven. He may become 8-8 eight and because eight. your team's not that very good, all right? Maybe you'll accept that one day. Maybe you'll take a break in a hiatus and get off the videos and shit because people are getting tired of your fucking lies. They're getting tired of you fucking having uh, conniption fits and shit for no reason. All right? You can't blame Dak for your team's shitty play. You can't sit there and say that they ain't played nobody after they played the same fucking team you did, asshole. You can't do that. You know, you know, and I'm seeing the crying and the and the, and, the, and, the, and the just the, just tears wiping and everything, but you listen to other everybody else. It ain't just the team fucking up. It's a it's a it, it, you got to give some some um, blame to Carson Wentz too. I mean, not only that, okay. Cowboys had drops, okay. Cal Cooper had a, 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 a big drop in the game, and he went and said, my bad, I'm sorry. And then went, and got, went on next time and, and caught a touchdown. You see? The Cowboys are playing very well together. That's a team. That's a team that's chilling, defensively and offensively, okay? They believe in their quarterback. They really do, okay? They would go into a fucking volcano with Dak if he chose to go, to go there, Okay? They were going to battle with him like any other. Believe me. They respect him that much. I don't know about your team respecting your quarterback. I don't think they do. Okay? I don't think your quarterback respects his own teammates. He's proven in the past he hasn't. I don't know if he's changed. Maybe he has. Okay? But one thing for certain, you Eagle fans are giving me a lot of pleasure. I love it. Keep up the good work, okay? All right, I appreciate it. And I'm going to tell you, other, with another matters, okay, um, looks like uh, we're going to get back uh, Antoine Woods this this week. We're going to get back um, De uh, um, Tavon Austin. I think he's ready to go. And uh, someone else right now, I think Xavier Woods, I believe he's ready to go too. All right? And um, so with that, man, it's, it's, it's going to just in height, it's gonna be uh, um, solidify the uh, defense and the offense. That much so. Now, I'm, you know, I, I'm kind of worried about T-Bone Austin. He's shown some bounce back from last season. He's shown some good play this season. But he has not changed his, his injury protocol. And, and I just, I can't, I just, I know people get hurt, okay? You can't just, just force someone to try to, you know, change that if they're injury prone, right? This is a hard thing to do, you know, if it, if it starts. But the thing is that I'm, I'm getting tired of him getting hurt all the time, all right? It's, 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 it, it takes away from the uh, cap. It, it helps. It, it hurts the team, okay? Because it's, it hurt. It hurts the flow a little bit, all right? So, but this kid, Devin Smith, and uh, Cedric Wilson may be a better choice to keep if um, if Tavon Austin goes down again. We can't continue to have someone like that who's very talented, very very fast, good hands. This kid. To the most part, okay. Sometimes he drops critical passes. I, he did it last year, but hopefully he'll 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 end that. But I want to talk about also with Connor Williams. Connor Williams is a great player, okay. He's he's a he's a he's a second year player. He had a decent rookie season, and though he got beat up a lot, you know, during some games, okay. And he's one of the main reasons why Dak had like 56, 58 sacks. Well, only only maybe 14 or 13 of those sets was that fault. Every quarterback has a fault in their, in, in their, in their uh, play, in the backfield. But that, that should not have never been close to no 56, 58 sacks. That should never have happened. But we have a Frederick back. We have uh, Zach back healthy. We have um, Smith. Tyron Smith is healthy. He's the healthiest he's ever been in years. There ain't a peak from him. So, but with, with, with Connor Williams bulking up this past year before the season started, 
and, and, and learning, on the, learning more on the fly. He started from the beginning, okay? But um, he's doing good. But here's the thing about I don't like about Carnal Williams, all right? When he misses his assignment and he does it like he did last season, he tends to hold and panic and hold. Grab on to the player, okay? You got to learn how to move your feet with the player. I don't care how fast he's moving. I don't care how quick he is. You got to get your feet to move the same quick. This is why Ch Chaz Green is no longer in the NFL, if he is or not. If he is in the NFL, it damn sure he's on somebody's bench, all right? Or, so, or, or next to the water boy, something. But that's a quick way to get yourself to next to the water boy. You got to move your feet in the offensive and defensive um, realm. This is why Cheeto, I'm sorry, this is why Taco Trout is no longer a cowboy because he didn't know how to move his feet and hands. His motor always stop and go all the time. But with that, we talk about Connor Car Car Williams. Connor Williams is strong. Connor Williams did a pretty good job so far this year because Dak had only about maybe a couple, just a couple of sacks. But if, he's, if you're going to miss your assignment, at least turn around, don't grab, push the guy. Push him in the back if you have to. You may get a flag for it. The likely that you would. But at least you won't do no stupid shit like hole. Okay? Because you'll get, you'll get, it's a better chance you get away with that than you would fucking grabbing somebody. Grabbing their helmet or grabbing their fucking jersey or, or, or shoulder pad, something. Don't grab. Please. Because he killed the play that was beautiful. I thought it was, I thought it was, um, uh, comment, um, uh, uh, Cooper Rush. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, Amari Cooper. But, uh, it was, um, it was, uh, Cobb who did this beautiful, um, uh, um, slant in and caught the pass from Dak Prescott. And then he got face masks and got away though. That was a beautiful 75 yard bomb pass and shit. But the thing is that they called it back because of Connor Williams hole. And every time, a lot of times in the critical play last season, when they called back plays that Dak Prescott and, 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 the, and the offense moved on, Connor Williams did a hole. It was, and it just, it just pipped, it just pipped me off. Now, he's not a bad one. I'm just hoping that he does improve, man. But Connor Williams, if you listen to me, if somebody can get word to him, please, don't fucking grab, okay? It'd be better if you push the guy once you get trying to um, find your assignment. Stay with him. If he gets going back, push his ass down. Don't grab him. Thank you. But anyway, with that said, um, there's some other things I'm trying to say here. I have one more thing I was going to say now, me being almost 60 years old. Um, I, um, I tend to forget. But... Um, I won't forget to thank you guys for sharing, liking, and, and, uh, and um, commenting on my channel. Please keep up the good work. I appreciate that very much. Thank you.